For me? What's in it? It's not fish eggs, is it? Oh, I hate fish eggs. This is good. This is great. What is this? I don't care. It's awesome. Thank you. I haven't been this full since the, the last time Mum made me dinner. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> he sounds so heartbroken every time. Um, you don't need to follow me anymore. Thank you, though. Can you, can you buzz off, please? Well, poop. Okay, you're following me. Well, come with me, and you'll see a show. Now let's create a diversion. Do I... No? Where do I... The third... That's the wrong button. Perhaps now. Do I get close to him? There's official Azadi business going on here. That's not it. Um... Do I maybe give them to you? Here you go, boy. Now don't light this before I tell you to. Okay, yeah, All that right. would be it. I'll be careful. I promise. Ah, oh, a little I bit. I can't wait to see how this one burns. Okay, so let's just step up. And... Where do I... Just anywhere? Nope. Where is it? Exactly do I... I have no clue where to do this. No clue whatsoever. Maybe I need to do it at a different part of the area. That seems like a giant nope. Where the heck do I do this? Oh, now I could do it. Okay. Use the fireworks to distract the guard away from that door. Yes, yes. Let's watch the magic happen. Hey, hey! Check this out. Too slow. <laughs> Good jo job, Vip. <laughs> okay. Enter the building to confront the Azadi officer. Let's do this. Bip is doing the god's work right now, and I'm so proud. It's dangerous, yes, but I'm still proud. And happy about it. What in Shadow's name are you? Apostle! You're dead! Hell nah, bitch! <laughs> Sacked him just like, boop! Oh yeah, he she does not look again, happy. Child. I promise. Leave. Do not come back. And you, you horrible, horrible man, shall never touch her again. <laughs> Bitch left him <laughs> awakening. My head's hurting. Why is my? Because of me, motherfucker. What's happening? Uh, who are you? Where's Ramin? Wh wh why am I tight? Alvani. You're not dead. Now in Shadow's name. I, 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 I'll pay you. I'll make you wealthy. I'll get you a pardon from the tower and- Shut your mouth. Not interested. I need information. What do you mean? If you speak out of turn again, I'll cut off your dick and shut oh, down your Oh, good lord. That's a threat. Raid tonight. I don't know anything about a raid. Oh, hell nah. You do. Torture or threaten? I, unless I show him what happens when he does. Unless I cause him pain. I cannot justify torture. I'll have to convince him to talk to me. Trust that he reveals the truth. I actually had no problem with torture, believe it or not. It's killing that I'm that I'm a little hesitant with, but torturing? Nah, I'm kinda fine with it. But if there's a chance that I can threaten, that's kinda fine as well, honestly. But the question is, do I actually cut off his thing if I torture? I wanna torture!
Am I actually gonna? Goddess, no, no! Okay, I don't I think that's what I did. I brought pain to our enemies. In return, they confessed and converted without fail. <sighs> If I was trained to make the devout denounce their own gods, do you not think I can make a goddessless child molester reveal his secrets? Please. Please, no more. Well, that was effective. I'll tell you everything I know. Damn straight, there will bitch. Be a raid on the magic ghetto tonight. Before sunup. Commander Vamon is leading the unit himself. They have a list. Magicals. Uh, humans who evaded the resistance, suspected collaborators. It's a long list. They're planning to round up most of the magicals, take them to the islands. Some, some, they're just going to kill their families. Oh my goodness. Homes. They'll be burnt to the ground. It's retaliation for what happened at the keep. For the weapon shot. That's for what happened with that? Are you shitting me? Everyone to know there will be consequences to the rebels' actions. That's like punching somebody for the them resistance. stealing your candy bar. Let's go over Jeez. this again. Tell me everything you know. Please, don't kill me. I won't tell anyone about this. About you, I, I can't. They'll, they'll execute me. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll spy for you. I, I'll feed you information from inside the tower. Just, just spare me, please. For the love of the goddess, I beg you. And as to what I said before, I'm kind of fine with torture. The killing that I don't often do. He has much to lose if he reveals what happens here. But I can't risk it. And his crimes are too grave. Yeah, but. I very much live by very many words of wisdom, and one of them is an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, meaning don't take a life kind of no matter what the person has done. But that's a very thin line to justify or th thread by. Either way, I There's think I'll spare him. risk that he will reveal what happened here, but if I spare his life, he could be of value to us. I'll spare him. That may come back and bite me in the ass later, but I'll spare him. Betray me, and the tower will know what you did. Even if they spare your life, I will find you, and I will make you pay. Yes, yes! I swear, on the first mountain, I won't speak a word of this. I'll, I'll give you all the information I come across, everything! You'll return Perfect. to this place every week to meet an agent of ours. Your guard will believe you still visit your... Your girl. Of, of course, Apostle. Thank you. Shut up before I cut your tongue from your <laughs> mouth. I'll release you now. But you'll stay here until your guard knocks on the door. We'll know the instant you break your oath. He's just like, yeah, you're in my domain now, bitch. I have the control. And that's how you interrogate someone. Just a little bit of damage, of the, a little bit of damage, but the rest is psychological warfare. And Bip made it out, or made it from the guy. Cool. Where's the guard? He's in a mud cellar. Stuck to his knees in Elgwyn dung. He'll be busy for a while. You did good, Bip. What happened in there? Did you get what you needed? Oh, hell yeah, I did. Listen, you can't stay here in Old Town. The Azadi are coming. I'm not afraid of the Azadi. Oh, you will Nevertheless, be. Nevertheless, you need to leave. I'll bring you to the Enclave and you'll be safe with... But I'm not going anywhere. This is where I live. What if my parents come back? They'll be looking for um, me. You're not safe here. I'm sure your parents would be happier knowing you're with us. You just want to put me in an orphanage. That's not true. Wait. Shadow. Children. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they can be a pity, but you love them all the same. 
especially if they're yours. Well, hopefully, especially if they're yours. Unless you're a dick. Then go fuck off. The general is asking questions. I've heard. We must find Kian before... I'll make sure Hami's attentions are directed elsewhere. Tonight's raid on the Magic Ghetto will be a good start. What did he say? The General tells me that my men are sticking to the story, but that some of the prisoners are spreading rumors. It's of little concern. They will not live to see another interview. And arouse more suspicion? Don't be a fool, Vamon. Don't ever call me a fool. Then try not to act like one. <laughs> Who else did he speak It's like, with? you're an idiot, don't deny Lord. it. What? I thought you were taking care of that problem. You're the one who worries about arousing suspicion. I couldn't simply have him executed. There are laws. And now the general has a witness. An infidel's testimony can never be used against Trueborn. But his words can fuel further investigations. The general will soon have other matters to concern himself with. We're stepping up the deportations, and we're close to completing the machine. After that, Kian's death will be low on his list of priorities. And in the meantime, the General is pursuing leads. Like I said, tonight's raid will distract him. How so? Because it won't go well. The rebels will strike. Many of his men will die, our forces will be on high alert, and, as Supreme Commander, It'll be Hami's job to clean up. He will blame you. And I will take responsibility. And action. There will be little time for his investigations. By the time the situation is under control again, other matters will have taken precedence. We will keep the General's attentions elsewhere until our mission here is done. And then, no one... No one will challenge us. I hope you're right. I always am. Come here. This is not the Wait, time. Wait, what now? I'm as hard as Nigali steel. This is exactly the time. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Oh, hello there. And the plot thickens. And something else gets harder. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sexual innuendo. Something on him was hard as that steel he mentioned and... If it would be on Keane, I would be looking at it right now. There. That's your cue. That's your clue. I apologize for being late, but I have important... Every minute wasted could mean lives lost. Enu, can you tell us what you've learned? Not a whole lot. No one's talking. There's not even a whisper of a Oh, rape. I have learned a I'm lot. I'm starting to think maybe Ulvik's loose-lipped, drunken Azadi was merely a braggart. Also, merely a braggart... I've been around you guys too long. I'm starting to speak like a sullen warrior. I went looking for our people in Old Town. They're standing by for my word. I don't want to pull them out of the city until we know for sure what's happening. And you're about to get so to know. For their sake, Anu's right. And there's no raid tonight. The raid is taking place. Just before sunrise. We still have several hours. How did you come up? Hey, Big Blue. Let him speak. The plan is to arrest as many magicals as possible along with rebel sympathizers. It's a show of strength. They want us to be scared. Where did you get this information, Kian? From torturing. From a trusted source. I met her. Oh, yeah, that will. We... Mystery that as well. Woman, I remember Mystery Woman. Well, I remember you talking about Mystery Woman. She's a friend of Ulvik's, right? We can definitely trust her. She told me about an Azadi officer who... Visits with who is doing some very, girl. very morally bad stuff, and she that I despise. He was with a child. <laughs> that's th that's sick. And yeah. Did you find him? I did. It's not only they'll sick; it's the ghetto from the north and the east, it. and they'll have a ship blocking all traffic in and out of Shady Quay. He told me that this will be their biggest raid on the ghetto so far, given his rank and the precariousness of his situation. I believe him. How did you get him to reveal all that? Let me just I say, I have my methods. I what I had methods. to do to make him speak. He was in no state to tell lies. Did what you had... Wait. You tortured him? That's how you got the information? I... We don't do that! You should be glad I didn't kill him. Do we? I would have done the same. 
Why, thank you. Color me not surprised. <laughs> it sounds like your intelligence is to be trusted, Keon. We'll prepare for the raid, and I'll tell our people to abandon Old Town. Where is the officer now? I let him go. He might prove a valuable asset in the future. Will he not simply go straight to his masters? I don't believe I so. Have information I hope that at least. His execution. Should his commanders learn the truth, he'll keep his silence. But you let a child molester walk free. Was that because he's one of yours? And because okay, the that's not it at all. That's not even close to the truth. I won't soon forget this insult as God I damn it. I knew something worth, would man? bite me in the ass. I think you did the right thing. I mean, he deserves punishment for what he did to the girl, but to have a source inside the tower? This could change everything. I should just cut off his dick. <sighs> well, at least now we know what's happening tonight. Should have just made him an for my eunuch. Sources, we've been waiting for a chance to show the Azadi we're not running scared. We have magic. magic. Potent magic. Magic that goes boom, big time. And maybe, maybe that's called an explosion. A bomb. Throw a few of those dogs to their <laughs> Hopefully they have a Moab. I just wish you hadn't tortured For those of you who don't know, so mother of all bombs. Not okay. But at least you let him live. That was definitely the right choice, even if Liko will never agree. Boy, he hmm. really doesn't like you, does he? Well, now I have one on... I have something that he agrees with me on, and something that she agrees with me on. I'm satisfied, I got... Two out of four. Two out of four points. That's good enough for me. Oh yeah, there is a raid alright, but we are prepared, motherfucker. You won't be so smug anymore for a long time. I thought we prepared for the raid, what the hell? Oh, poor Bip. At least he was hiding. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. If you hurt us, we hurt you. And she looked like she's either concentrating very hard or just baked off of her mind. You? However did you get here? A mysterious crow. Huh. And she apparently knows the crow. Interesting. Thursday, August 10th, 2220. Or 2220. Whichever you prefer. And we're back with Zoe. Who's apparently having a bit of a nightmare. Or a very strange dream. The dream machine. You aren't gonna. Are you? Come on. Don't do it. Okay. We are back again. And the journal has been updated. So what do we have here? Thursday? Really? Already? What? Next Thursday? Well shit. Hello diary! What's new? Oh, nothing. Just spending every waking hour worrying about whether I did the right thing or not. That's all. 
I've been going over things in my head for over a week. Was handing the, da the data to Sully and the hand the right decision? They're still working on the story, but it should be ready for publishing tonight or tomorrow. I know they've been doing a ton of fact checking and background information. Sully wants to make sure wants to have one more chat with me before he signs off on the thing. They know this is going to be huge once it's published. So I guess I did the right thing, right? Right? Seeing as I'm still working for the campaign, at least in theory, I'm not looking forward to Baruti's reaction once this goes live. He's going to be livid. Reza must have left super early this morning. He wasn't there when I woke up. And he only left a perfunctory message. Sully needs me. See you later. The very definition of perfunctory. I don't even know what that word is. Who even uses that word anymore? Who am I trying to impress? Why all the questions marks? Oh, why all the question marks? Huh, I can read. But yeah, Reza. After our conversation last week, we decided to... I don't know. What did we decide? That things aren't working? That we need to evaluate our relationship? Did we actually decide anything at all? Knowing us, we probably didn't. And so our relationship lingers, like a stubborn pigeon by a park bench, hoping to, for dry crumbs. What? Anyway, I have an appointment with Sully this afternoon to go over some of the details in the story from the campaign's point of view. I hope Mira will let me leave early today. I mean, I have a good reason. Not that this will necessarily sway Mira. She never saw a good reason she didn't hate. I'm not sure how happy I am working there. I'm learning, slowly, but Mira's a bitch. Wit is brilliant, but not exactly talkative. As in, he does not talk, at all. The pay is lousy, and I'm not actually getting to do what I signed up for. There's precious little programming, and plenty of running around doing shitty errands. He pays the bills, barely, but I'm not happy, at all. Maybe it's time to move on and find something else. Maybe I should have gone back to school after all. Decisions. I suck at them. You and me both. I suck at decisions. Okay. Um. But yeah. I think we will actually end off this episode here. Before I try on the dream machine. Or do I have the option to... Okay, no. I'm actually supposed to use the dream machine first. But. Before that. Yeah, we will end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then be sure to let me know by smashing that like and sub button, leaving an awesome comment, and follow me on social media. Now have a good one, and I'll see you later!